welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a keto friendly recipe or a low carb recipe and I kind of saw it on the Keto Connect YouTube channel. So if you have not checked out Keto Connect, I will have it linked down below. So if you do go and check them out, tell them that Fat Fit Beauty uh, sent you to them. So today I am making butter chicken, but I'm putting my own spin on it. I am making it a Creole butter chicken. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's gonna turn out really, really yummy. So as you saw, I just diced up some chicken and I marinated it with pink Himalayan salt, garlic powder, pepper, and some spicy steak seasoning. With regular butter chicken, you would use turmeric, chili powder, uh, salt, those kind of Indian spices, but I wanna make mine for my taste buds and where I'm from. So that's why I put a little bit of a Cajun twist up on it. So now we're just going to get this chicken cooked and hopefully this turns out good. I'm going to be having it with some cauliflower rice and of course I will have all the macros and the recipe down at the bottom of the screen along with Keto Connect's YouTube channel if you want to go check them out. So let's get busy cooking this chicken. So we have two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter melted and now we're just going to add the chicken. Regular butter chicken, you usually dice up an onion and cook the onion in the butter, but I'm not much of an onion person, so I just added some onion powder to the chicken also. And now you're just going to let the chicken brown or cook almost all the way through. It doesn't have to cook totally through because it's going to be cooking in our liquid and that will cook the rest of the way. So our chicken is about cooked, so now I'm just going to add a cup of heavy whipping cream. And we added one and a half tablespoons of tomato puree. Now we're just going to mix all that together and put a lid on it and let it cook for about five to seven minutes. As you can see from that tomato paste, it has kind of an orangey color. If you like it more tomato paste, you can put it in there if you want to, but you don't have to. So now I'm just going to put the lid on it and let it cook for about, hmm, about six to seven minutes, just so it gets a little bit thicker. So while that is cooking, I'm just going to grab me some cauliflower rice and just put it in the microwave and have some cauliflower rice with it. So to add a little bit more vegetables into it, I'm just going to take a handful of fresh spinach and put it in there maybe like the last minute to two minutes just so it has time to cook and get all that flavor. So this is the finished product or what around what it should look like. And just going to give it another good stir. And you know it's thick enough when it can coat your spoon. That's when you know it's good. So I'm just going to plate this up and then we're going to give this a try guys. So here is the final plate. I guess you could say my plating, my plating skills do need some work. But um, you don't have to add spinach if you don't want to. I just wanted to try to add more vegetables into my diet. Um, but you definitely don't have to add spinach if you don't like it. So, or you don't even have to add the cauliflower rice if you don't want to. But, you know, if you want to add some more vegetables or if you want to eat it with rice. There we go. Okay, uh, enough yapping, Jessica. Let's just try this. That's so freaking delicious, guys. Like, you have to try this recipe. Like, you don't even feel like you're eating food that's low carbs. You know what I'm saying? Mm, it's really good, guys. I really hope y'all try this recipe 
And if you do try this recipe, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And to all my new subscribers who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed and if you want to, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you want to be notified of whenever I post new videos, just click the bell right next to it and you will be notified. Also, if you want to find me on my social media like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, definitely add me and let me know that you found me on Instagram or YouTube or wherever. So I hope you like this low carb recipe. I will put all the macros and the recipe down at the bottom. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one guys. Bye.